So, uh, who of you doesn't speak German? Or oh, only a little bit of German? Perfect. So, um, because we're in Germany, I thought you might be um, wondering um, or might be wanting to learn a little bit of German. And this is the German that we use as software developers. This is what we actually use in the office. So, we'll start with a simple sentence. Um, <laughs> I bet most of you work with Git. And the Germans already know what's coming. <laughs> Most of you work with Git, and so at some point you might have said something like, I have pushed the branch to somewhere. If you would translate this like word by word into German, it would be something like, Ich habe den Zweig gedrückt. <laughs> but this is bad, that's not how we speak, that's not how we say it. We actually say, Ich habe den Branch gepusht. Notice that we keep the word branch, but it's a noun, so we capitalize it, so that's uh, the German language rules. But the important word, or the interesting word, is the word gepusht. This is perfect, valid German. We speak like this. So let's take a closer look at this word gepusht. So the basic form of this word is actually pushen. which, of course, is uh, to push. So you might already know that German is a little bit complicated of a language, and I could show you a full conjugation table of this word in perfect German, but we will be, we will be here until tomorrow for this one word. So um, I thought I will show you the two um, tenses that you might need the most. It's the present and the past. And also, I decided on uh, three pronouns which we might use the most, just to make this a little bit faster. So, um, if I wanted to say that I have pushed something, I would say, ich pushe. Ich is I, so ich pushe is I push. Du pushst is you push. Er, sie, es pushed. He, she, it pushes. Or pushes. Um, so, um, you, there's actually a pattern in there, so um, for the um, version, for the I version, for, for ich, we add an E at the end of the basic English word. For du, which is like the informal U that we use in German, um, we add a ST, and for RCS, which is he, she, it, we add a T at the end from the basic English word. So. Now we also have the past tense, and I use the second past tense. Um, this is what we use in speech in Germany. And that would be, ich habe gepusht, du hast gepusht, er, sie, es hat gepusht. See, this is a little bit easier. So it's the same word for all of the versions, and it's the same pattern. We add G at the beginning and a T at the end. So now you know the pattern. Let's see another word. We do code reviews, or review each other. So, um, I mean, how would I say that um, I review something? It would be, ich review, du reviewst, er, sie, es reviewed. See, it's the same pattern. And also for the past tense, ich habe gereviewed, du hast gereviewed, uh, er, sie, es hat gereviewed. Notice the slight change of intonation um, for gereviewed, so th that's important. <laughs> okay, from time to time we deploy software, hopefully. So, um, again, we apply the basic pattern, ich deploy, du deploys, der, sie, es deployed, we're, we're happy. But now for the past tense, what do you think will happen? So in this case, if you would do um, get deployed, this would sound stupid. The others don't. <laughs> the others don't, you know? Um, but this would sound stupid. So what we actually do is, um, ich habe deployed, du hast deployed, er, sie, es hat deployed. This is an irregular um, verb. So, <laughs> you know, there are exceptions to the rules. I could be doing this all day. 
I could be doing this all day, but this is my favorite word, actually. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, to cherry pick or cherry picken, which is um, ich cherry picke, du cherry pickst, er sie es cherry picken. Notice that when I say cherry pick in English, I use the English R, but if I say cherry pick in German, I say cherry pick. <laughs> Super important, it's a different R. If you want to sound German, you, you need to practice uh, the German R. And now there are two past uh, tense uh, pa versions for the past tense for this. So depending if uh, you view cherry pick as one word or, or, or as a verb or pick as the verb, you can get, um, ich habe cherry gepickt, du hast cherry gepickt, er sie es hat cherry gepickt, or, and I use both versions, <laughs> ich habe gecherry picked, du hast gecherry picked, as yes, had get cherry picked with a proper arm. So now you know how the German language works. This is all you need to know if you want to work in a German office. Let's try out a sentence. Ich habe einen Commit von der Release Line gecherry picked, der Code kompiliert, aber ich muss vor dem Deployen noch debuggen, weil die Tests fehlen. So now you have, um, uh, you can claim um, basic knowledge in German. You can put that on your resume. And thank you very much.